What's going on YouTube? It's your friend Jess and today is a super duper exciting day for me and hopefully for you as well. One of my favorite makeup brands is Winky Lux. Now I know I've talked about them on my channel before you guys. I've gotten a few of their products in the mail through either Ipsy, Birchbox, or BoxyCharm. I've also purchased a few items. Their eyebrow pencil, literally my holy grail. Like running out of the first one, literally I already have a backup. Just saying. And I am super pumped to announce that recently, and you guys probably know this because you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, and if you don't, then you need to, that I have become a brand ambassador for Winky Lux. Now, I'm sure you want to know, but Jess, if you're a brand ambassador for a company, what exactly does that mean? Do you get free stuff? Do you have to say it's good? What's the tea, girl? The tea with being a brand ambassador is just the company wants you to review their products and talk about their products. I am never going to lie to you guys. I will never say something is good if it's not good. I'm not being paid by them, and I'm not getting free stuff as of yet. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be getting more exciting things from this company in the future to share with you guys. You guys know I've reviewed some of their stuff on my channel before and I absolutely love them so I'm really looking forward to seeing what else I get and what else is coming in the future. So just because somebody's a brand ambassador does not necessarily mean that the video or that the products are sponsored. I am not sponsored. So FYI you guys will get the full tea on this palette today. But Jess, you inquire, what palette are you talking about? Today I will be reviewing, swatching, and trying on the brand new Mermaid kitten palette from Winky Lux. This palette just dropped. I bought it the day it came out and it arrived about two days ago. I have been waiting to get this on my face. But you guys know from following me, I'm sure, that I have had a sty for like the past week. It was Stygate 2018, okay, for real. Sty should not last more than three to five days. That junk was in my eye for seven days plus, okay? It's actually like still kind of there. I should not be wearing makeup, but I'm going through withdrawal and I need something. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and crack a lack into this box and see what the palette is all about. Also, how totally adorbs is their packaging? Um, Winky Lux, hello, thank you. Totes adorbs. One thing I especially love about Winky Lux, you guys, they are very affordable in terms of a brand. They're not drugstore pricing, but they're certainly not prestige pricing as well. So definitely, if you can find them somewhere, I think some Ultas might carry them or they might only carry them online. Give them a whirl, try them out. That's all I'm saying. Look at how dang stinking adorable this packaging. I mean, hello? Do you see how cute? It says, but first makeup. I'm a little bothered grammatically that there is no comma after the word first, but moving on from that. You have your bright pink paper, and then we know our palette is going to be right up in... What is this? Oh my god. Unexpected development. Thank you, Winky Luck. This is... Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Winky Lux has amazing customer service. I did not know that this free gift would come with purchase. Just like before when I ordered my eyebrow pencil, they sent me a free highlighter because they shipped it one day. That's right, one day late. <laughs> Look at how cute! Oh my god, it's a little kitten mermaid holding a little seashell. How dang adorable is that? I can't, I'm wearing it. I'm like, so over the moon with this. You guys know I love pins, buttons, any type of flair. It does not like belong here on this dress. I just don't even care. I want her to be prominent through the rest of this video because I am in love and obsessed. Let's go to the palette. Is anything else hiding? No, okay. But come on, like, do you see the interior and just the quality? This is awesome. Winky Lux, keep it up. And here we are, the palette itself. Look at how dang adorable this packaging is. It has this little, uh, I, I, like, you guys, everything I do is unscripted for the most part. Sometimes I'll put things in my head that I know I want to say. For example, don't forget to mention that it's affordable or don't forget to mention that it made you break out. Stuff like that. But I am always just kind of shooting off the cuff. It is very rare that things make me speechless. How stinking adorable is this packaging? You've got the coral, the flowers, and the little mermaid kitten. Yes. And then on the back here, it shows you all the different shades that are inside. We've got sand dollar, sea foam, top, blah, blah, blah. We'll get, we'll get into that. Let's just open it because I can't wait to put it on my face. There she is in all of her glory. Let's go ahead and open her up. Now this is also common with Winky Lux. They do not put mirrors inside their palettes. And for 25 bucks, I, I would want a mirror. That's all, that's all I'm saying. I mean, the quality of the product is very good, but the fact that there's no mirror in here and the packaging is fairly decent. You know, it's not the best. It's like that cardboard kind of ColourPop quality. It's actually a little bit thicker than what you would get with ColourPop, but where's my dang mirror? Winky Lux, still love you, but I need some water for a good tongue pop. What's happening? So let's go ahead and take this. Can I? Thank you. Take this off and take a look at the actual shades. Wow. Look at this selection. There are a lot of shimmer shades in here. I have one, two, 
Two mats? Is this also a shimmer? Yes, it is. Wow. Okay, guys, we have two mats to work with. This might be a bit of a struggle, but we're going to make it work. So the colors we have are Sand Dollar, Sea Foam, Topless, Pink Sands, Ursula, totally using that one, come on. Under the sea, under the sea, darling, it's better, down where it's wetter, take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day, out in the sun, they slave away. We can, we can Little Mermaid this whole video up, you guys. I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> then we have Siren, Seaweed, and Treasure. That is what you are. And the singing already starts. <laughs> treasure, that is what you are. Oh, honey, you're my golden star. And you can make my dreams come true. If you let me treasure you. If you let me treasure, oh, oh, oh. This color's treasure. This color's treasure. It's kind of golden, you know I want it on. That's enough of that. We need to dive into this. I need to stop and focus because I have just not had makeup on my face in too long. Let's dive in. As you guys know, I have no idea what kind of look I'm going for. All I know for sure is we are definitely going to play around with the purple, the pink, the... I don't even... Let's just go. Let's just go for it. Diving in. I am gonna do finger swatches, but you guys know the tea. You definitely always wanna make sure that you are swatching with a brush, especially when you do have these kind of glitter shimmer shades. You can totally use your finger to apply them and press onto your eye, which really is the best way to get it on unless you have a brush that is wet with Fix Plus. How many times do I need to say this in a video? I don't know. Let's start off with Sand Dollar. Boom. Ooh, that is way more pearly and pigmented than I thought it was going to be. It looks very powdery in a way, but once you start to really blend it out, I mean, you guys can see it's kind of disappearing, but it's got that nice, like, white shimmer. Pretty. Kind of reminds me of the seashell. Let's move it on over to sea foam. This looks very, like, frosty, blinding white, but it's not... Oh, no, never mind. It's showing up. <laughs> so this color is sea foam. I'm going to put that right underneath, and that is not showing up at all, you guys. It's very iridescent very iridescent with the glitter is what I can say um, mm, moving on to topless love these names Let's go ahead and swatch topless right under okay that is way shinier than I thought it was gonna be Ooh, that is stunningly beautiful yes so you guys, these are showing up pretty light. And I mean, they are very pale looking colors. I feel like obviously once we get down to this realm, it's gonna really kick it up. I don't know if you guys can see the purple shimmer thing that's going on. I'm gonna try. Uh, that is just gorgeous. You know what? I'm using sea foam as a highlighter because I like literally can't even right now. Let's see what we get. Okay. Yep. <laughs> It might be a little too glittery to use as a highlighter, but I don't even care. I'm kind of living for it at this very, I mean, sea foam. I mean, this is pretty blinding as a highlight. I know it's supposed to be used as an eyeshadow, but use what you want for what you want. Moving on. Next up, let's dive into Pink Sands. Ooh, who doesn't like a nice pale pink color? And that does kind of remind me of Pink Sandy Beaches. I've only seen pictures, have never been. Let's swatch her. Again, a very pale looking color. It almost looks, I'm looking at my arm here in the screen, you guys, and it looks like I've done pretty much nothing except this top color right here, which is very, very shiny and standing out. So I don't really know how these are gonna work once they're applied to the eye, but we're gonna go and play around with that later. Let's dive into these other shades. Next up, Ursula. Very pumped about this color. Ooh, she is metallic-y looking. That looks dark. We should definitely see her on here. Let's take a look and crack a lack. Okay. All right, uh, on the viewfinder, it does look very pretty, very plum. I am seeing the mermaid vibes from this with how pale and kind of glittery and opalescent all of the different colors are. So I'm kind of hoping as we go along, we're able to think about what kind of look we want. And I'm really hoping that they pack more of a punch on the eye with a brush than they do on the arm of the finger swatch. Ah, oh, come on. All right, let's go with under the sea. I can't, I, every time I say under the sea, how are you not supposed to sing it? Like for real, for real though. Let's see if under the sea is worth our time. 
Yes, it is. Ooh, that's so pretty. This, uh, so far, you guys, all of these except for pink sands have glitter or metallic in them. Just all of them so far, including this color right here under the sea. It's got a nice navy blue with like a silver shift and glitter to it. That's looking really pretty. I want to see how that's going to work with Siren. I have a feeling I'm going to be playing with a lot of the blues and greens today, even though I said I was doing pinks and purples. I just feel more mermaidy with blue and green. You know what I'm saying? Is that just me? Look, I know Ariel has a green tail and red hair with a purple bra, but for me, when I think mermaid, I think teal, blue, green, seaweed, uh, I don't know. Is it just me? Anyway, moving on to Siren. Let's so watch that. Ooh. What? Oh! Favorite color in the palette so far. Oh my God. Girl, boy. Everybody, uh -huh. yes, that swatch got me very excited. <laughs> All right, guys, two more colors left to swatch. All we have left is seaweed and treasure. Let's just go ahead and get those both on at the same time because I don't feel like wasting time anymore. I want to put this stuff on my face. Here we go. Here is seaweed right here. Oh, yes. And then here we have treasure. Oh, Madonna Mia, you guys. So again, you guys, starting with the top colors here, you really can't see much going on. For me, those are gonna be pack a punch with some fixed plus and like really use it to get the iridescence in the look, but hello, these other shades, I mean, this is, this is like giving me life right now, okay, for real. I cannot wait, I definitely wanna use these three. I'm thinking I could combine that with some pink. Let's just do it. And if you guys wanna see how I went from this to this, then keep on watching. So for this, I want my eyes to look a little bit more wet as though I were a mermaid kind of emerging from the sea is what I'm going for. So I am actually going to kick off with sand dollar and put that all over the place. I wanna see, is this gonna do what I want it to do? Is there shine? Is it just white? Wow, okay, let's, let's blend. <laughs> that is definitely more pigmented than what I thought it was gonna be when we swatched it. Oh my goodness gracious. You guys know normally I would not cover my eyelid and brow bone and everything <laughs> in a shimmer shade. Um, but I just really kind of want something a little bit more mystical, magical, oh my god, my eyebrow. I feel like I'm looking very ice princess right now and I'm okay with that, digging it. Wow, I feel like that the makeup is making this style more pronounced. I am going to regret this decision. Oh well, my life, do what I want. Next up, I'm gonna go into pink sands. I just wanna give a little bit of dimension in between where all the shine and all the other packed colors are gonna be. So I do wanna kind of dictate where things are going. And I'm just gonna start packing that where I want the shape of my eye to go. You guys know I normally do that with like a transition shade, but today I'm doing it with this one. There's really no method to this madness, just follow along. They definitely look very pale together, but they are blending together nicely, even though one is a matte and one is a shimmer shade, so points for that. <laughs> and then I am gonna drag a little bit of that under as well, just to kind of bring a little bit of it under. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? To something a little bit more exciting. Cause I'm a mermaid, I need some water. Oh, I think you guys know what's coming next. I cannot stop obsessing over this. So this is what we're diving into. Let's get a flat brush. Boop. See now on the brush, you guys can see, it definitely looks a lot lighter and not as pigmented. I want this to be all over the lid, um, but not really towards the outside because we're gonna play around with something a little bit different there. But if you get it all over the whole lid, uh, who cares, you can cover it up later, right? Right. Let's see how she does without any fix plus or anything like that on there. Oh, well, all right. I have judged it too harshly. That is really, really pretty. Look at that color and you guys, dry brush, totally. No Fix Plus. Maybe I should try it also with the Fix Plus to see. <laughs> nah, too lazy. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other eye. So I'm using a lot of padding motions to place it where I want and then kind of dragging it out from there, as you can see. All right, I'm very happy with how this is turning out right now. And the other good news, you guys, even though I was using a dry brush, there is no fallout whatsoever. Oh, thank you for that. I think what I'm gonna do is put the purple on the outside and the blue underneath. I am just like obsessing over these colors and then we can kind of play around with the gold a little bit because you guys know I can't stay away from gold. So let's dive into the purple next. I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brow highlighting brush to go ahead and deepen up the outer corner of my eye because this is the brush I wanna use and I don't care what it says it's supposed to be used for. Okay, thank you. And let's start pressing that in. Ooh, that's dark. 
I like it. So again, very similarly to what I, oh, just dipped into under the sea. You know what? Whatever. Put that there. Then go back into Ursula. Pay attention, Jess. Thank you. So again, you guys, I'm using padding motions just to make sure that it's sticking where I want it. And I'm not entirely sure yet if I really want to drag this anywhere out. I'm really digging how it's looking so far. And I think once I start playing with the purple and the gold that we can change it up. But... This is what I'm doing for now, so let's just keep on keeping on. And I told you guys, this is very different for me because you guys know I'm winging everything out to try to bring my eyes up, but I really want to try a lot of different looks. I don't want to do the same thing every time. You know, I want to make it exciting for myself and for you guys. Sometimes when you do the same look over and over, it can get a little boring. I know I use different colors, but I tend to use the same techniques a lot, so I'm really playing around with different techniques, you know? We'll do some cut creases, some halo eyes, yada yada yada. They're a little uneven, Jessica. Yeah, buff it in more, girl. Oh, well, we added the one dip of the under the sea on the other side so let's do that oh what we figured this out you guys we figured it out all right so the ursula is all good and packed on the outer corner and then what we have figured out by accident is that under the sea in between the two oh, breathtaking let's do it i mean come on you guys is it just me? I know sometimes I get into this mood where I'm like, yes, yes, yes. But I mean, like, come on. And again, I'm using a dry brush for this too. I am really, really blown away with the glitter shades that we've used so far. With Siren, with Ursula, with Under the Sea, very, very blown away. I can't wait to use the rest of these colors. I mean, honestly, we could get all nine of these up on these eyes. It's a little excessive, but we're being a mermaid today, so let's be excessive. Nobody gonna tell me what kind of mermaid I'm gonna be. All right, now that I have those three colors laid down, I am not gonna blend those three together. I want them to stay separate. I really like how they look like that. I'm just gonna do like my standard trick of kind of flicking away anything that maybe made itself into the upper regions of my eye where I don't want it. And I will blend just the crease inwards only. I'm dragging the dark towards the light. Drag the dark towards the light, Caroline. Boom. I think what I want to do is start off with this seaweed color underneath the lash line. I know it's a little bit dark for the look, but I feel like it's really going to pull everything together and I kind of just want to try it out anyway, so that's what we're going to do. I mean, we know this one's going to be pigmented, so let's not go too crazy. And I'm only going to drag that about halfway through because I don't want it to be too dark. You know, that's not the point of this. It's not like a smoky mermaid look. Smoky mermaid? That would be an interesting look, wouldn't it? So yeah, next up, I'm going to go in with topless. I'm going to take that right underneath here and I am going to pop that in the brow bone, I think at least for now. Then we're going to finally dive into treasure and utilize that, I think think going right into here. I think the gold into the teal into the blue into the purple into the dark green into the pink. Yes. All gonna look really nice together. But let's try out topless first underneath here. Ooh! Shimmer! I'm actually gonna bring it down a little bit more into my dark under eye circles here to just give a little bit more brightness. And I am gonna drag that as well over seaweed just to kind of lighten it up a little. I do feel like it's a little bit dark. I don't know if you guys agree or disagree, but it needs to be done. And then we're gonna clean it up because that also needs to be done. Let's go ahead and pop that into the brow bone. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See, it looks amazing in the brow bone. Not really doing too, too much for me under my eyes, but at least it's better than nothing. We need to clean this up before I keep moving on so let's do that with some concealer sometimes you guys I just take my beauty blender or my sponge now my stands out beauty sponge that I use to fix my face to begin with and I kind of just try to wipe it away using that first to see if, if it'll take care of it sometimes if the fallout's not too too bad and this is my fault for not powdering underneath before I started this adventure I should have known glitters and metallics were gonna be all over this face but I continued on anyway I was just too excited to use it so I'm gonna try to clean it up super quick and that is already looking better. Need a little bit of concealer though. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually use a makeup wipe to clean everything up, but I am not feeling that tea today. I have already done too much work. So I'm just gonna dot, dot, dot. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna take this small brush here and kind of work that over just the darkness and pat out where I felt I went a little overboard or there was too much fallout. No such thing as too much fallout boy though, all I'm saying. Am I more than you bargained for yet? I've been dying to tell you anything you wanna hear cause that's just who I am this week. Lie in the grass next to the mausoleum. I'm just a notch in your bedpost but you're just a line in a song. We're going down, down in an early round and sugar we're going down swinging. 
I'll be a number one with a bullet. A loaded guy complex, got gate and pull it. Not your favorite Fall Out Boy song? There are others. This ain't a scene, it's a gosh darn arms race. One night and one more time. Thanks for the memories, even though they weren't so great. He tastes like you, won't be sweeter. I'm changing my mind on this wing out situation a little bit, like just a baby amount. You see like kind of like the little baby wing I got going on over there with the purple? I want to do that over here as well. So I'm just going to try to keep my eyes open and matchy match where it is at. Definitely feeling better about that. Let's go ahead and blend. And just to soften it up, I'm using circular motions and then dragging it in towards the center a little. Don't want it to be too cray cray. Know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying. So at this point, treasure is the only color we have not thrown on this face. We need to do that. Let's get another little pencil brush here and dive into her. And I am just gonna inner corner this junk. Let's see what we get. Hello? Hello, this isn't the color I'm looking for. And I really like the transition from the gold into the green. I just don't want to do too much because I really want, like Siren is by far, come on you guys, like the craziest, be most beautiful color. I'm obsessed with it. I can't stop looking at it. I can't stop looking at my eyes. I just love it. Uh, all right, you guys, so now the eyeshadow is all done. I'm going to throw on some mascara. I'm going to throw on a lip and I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts on the Winky Lux Mermaid Kitten Palette. BRB. Oh, mm, what? Hello? All right, you guys, I'm gonna call it done. I didn't spend a crazy amount of time on my look today. I got a lot going on, a lot to do, but we are gonna talk about the performance overall of the palette and what we think. When it comes to this palette, you guys, I really, really like it. I think for 25 bucks, you definitely get your bang for your buck, at least with the metallic and glitter shades. I have to say, I feel like Sand Dollar and Seafoam are just kind of not doing much of anything for me at all. I don't know. I feel like everything came together looking really nice. I'm obsessed with pretty much everything that you see down here, at least these last five. Obsessed, obsessed. You guys saw it didn't need any help, any really anything, just a dry brush, pat it on your eye, you're good to go. And I think that it turned out really, really nice. I love how the colors look together. I love how easy everything was to pop on and blend. I spent about 20 minutes total doing both eyes, and then if that's including throwing on the mascara and doing my lips afterwards. So, I mean, you guys see what I'm saying? It's something that's kind of easy breezy, slap it on, and it's still gonna look beautiful. I also have the Cashmere Kitten palette, which I really like as well that one's more nudes things like that but I wanted something a little bit more fun with more pop in it and also for 25 bucks is a little tough to swing because you can get a color pop palette for 15 you know for 25 at least I think that they should give us the mirror in here although I do like this little mermaid-esque packaging but overall I really have been waiting for Winky Lux to come out with another palette I was very excited to see this pop up very excited to get it in the mail and I really like how my look turned out today so I don't know you guys let me know what do you think have you used any products from Winky Lux before again Again, you guys know their unibrow eye pencil is like how your girl has these Madonna brows all the time. Obsessed. That's my holy grail. Love, love, love. I now am getting in like a mini lipstick collection. I also ordered the new mermaid brush set that they have. So I'm very excited to try the other things. But I know that the other kitten palette I have, love. I have their highlighter, their eyebrow pencil. I just, in general, really, really love the brand. So I want you guys to make sure that you check them out. Again, this is not sponsored. I'm just saying this is a brand I like. They're fairly affordable. If it's something that you want to look into and get into, then do it. If not, then say, just no. All right, you guys, that's everything that I have to say about the new Winky Lux Mermaid Kitten Palette. What do you guys think about this palette? I want to know. Do you like how this turned out? Do you think it was a little much? Do you think it wasn't enough? I don't know. What do you think I need to know? Throw it in the comments down below. I'm going to go eat a sandwich and come back up here and film my ifsy. Yes, I am. So make sure that you guys stay tuned for that, and I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video. Bye.